Hey what's up guys, today we're installing the Mishimoto x line performance radiator into my Nike Joe Super. Alright, so the Supra's been off all night. We've got it up on this little lip here. These little plugs just up here. They're gonna do to drain the radiator. And there's not much water in it because it's been cracked, so it shouldn't be too much to come out. Let the forbidden Kool-Aid drain. All right, so now we're gonna start removing the fan shroud and taking some hoses off while it drains. That's not good. And uh, now the radiator mounts. Take the overflow off. And the fan shroud's just held on by the zip ties because. Yeah. This is hard when you. There. there we go. And then there's a two on the underneath. Just here. We can get them. This one. And then if we just go past here. The camera is like this. And now it should just come straight up. Goes out of the way. Something else holding it up? There's one more hose on the bottom. Get it Get a mouthful of water. Get that a fresh beverage. And now that all that's done, uh, I am missing one radiator mount, which I got a new one from Toyota. Not a cheap piece of rubber. And everything's out, so it should now just slide straight up. That's a lot of... Now if you look down here, these are the radiator mounts here. Now this one's missing over here, which I noticed with my old radiator because it was sitting on quite an angle and rattling. But, new one, and that will just sit in here like this. Let's push it in, and that's it. Just comes in and out pretty easy. Just sits in there. So the stock super uses about 9.5 litres of pull, but the engine's still going to have some length in it. So we're using red coolant, Toyota recommends this because it's got the glycanthin and some of the water, and 
Melbourne could be the same. Robert, if we line them up correctly. Okay, on the um, nuts, this side here, just stick the grommet, take the grommet out and just push it on and then just shove it back. And now it should sit. <laughs> sit nicely in there. Time to put the brackets on. Put the hell in the camera. Alright, now we're going to reconnect the bottom part to all this. We're going to chuck on the bottom hose, let that drain a little bit more of that engine. Slide that back on. Push that right on. Nice and tight. Nice and off. All right, so now we're coming back on the brackets. And just tighten those down. And then we can just reroute, put this around here. And slide it back onto the overfill. Want it right up on here. Now all the clips on this have been broken previously, but we're gonna chuck it back on anyway. It was zip tight. So just gonna slide that back down. The funnest part. There we go. There. Not quite a bit of room. Spot good there. Just grab some zip ties. bottom, tighten them up, and now the top doesn't really have clips, so as it ties it is. <laughs> Easy as. Still spins freely. And the trusty old razor blade. Tight. We won. So 
going to top it off five litres of this and then a few litres of coolant. So now that the radiator is full, we're gonna start up the car, let it get to operating temperature, and that will allow more uh, coolant to flow through. And then we can just top it up from there. Yeah, no, she's a neutral. All right, let's go. So with it being up on, up on its little lip here, it's going to create a little bit of an incline because the air likes to travel to the highest point. So that's coming up here and it's going to come out here and then play all the air bubbles out. So it's pretty much full of cooler right now. So we're going to get up. Not bad. Get in there. Take about 10 minutes or so. Thank you.